In this video, I'm going to show you how do we clean the fuel injectors. Stoichiometrically speaking, 40.7 particles of air to one of fuel is the fuel mix ratio of an internal combustion engine. Now, in order to achieve that over time, we need to make sure that the fuel injectors are being kept clean. But then the problem is that carbon build and particles begin to form at the injector step. And especially speaking about the vehicles with Atkinson cycle engine, which in this case, hybrid cars. Now in this episode we're going to clean the fuel injectors of a Toyota Corolla 2015 that is probably, I'm not sure if these injectors have been cleaned before, let me show you the condition of them. Now if we inspect all the injectors together, we can see that these injectors are not clean, especially this one. Now the first step, I have to use my ultrasonic machine. I'm actually not against the flushing injectors, but how you be able to test how the injector is actually working. So every time you're going to clean the injectors, I strongly recommend use the ultrasonic and then the analyzer. I'll show you why. So let's begin now to extracting the rubber seals of the injectors. Usually every time you clean the injector, try to find the original rubber seals and just replace them. Then we're going to put this injector holder right here, probably something like this. Then if we are going to apply ultrasonic to clean the injectors. I also have to apply a pulse. So in order to do that, I need to connect them to the machine. Now make sure they are all in a vertical position because remember the coil needs to be under the cleaning. And not only that, because we're gonna pulse it, we're also going to apply the cleaning on the top of the injectors to allow the injector cleaner to flow inside while we're pulsing the injector. Now what we need to use is an injector cleaner. Coming inside, here we go. And there it is. I'm going to start the machine. There it is. As you can hear now, the ultrasonic is working. It's applying at one single pulse. Can you hear the pulses? The injectors are receiving a high frequency ultrasonic shock wave to destroy and disintegrate every single particle inside. And at the same time, applying a pulse to the injector. So let's let it work. I'm going to use this and begin to. So let me show you quickly what happens if I put the liquid inside the fuel injector. You will see, because I'm pulsing the injector, how the liquid begins or how the liquid level begins to go down. Look, see for yourself. This is what I consider the most efficient and high quality injector flushing. No pressure at all. Let's just allow the high frequency shock waves to destroy everything. And we're just using, in this case, gravity to take the liquid inside the injector. So let's just wait for about 10 more minutes and this injector should be as good as it gets. Looks like the process is done. The injectors are clean. Now I have to extract them, test them in the analyzer. Let me show you. Now you definitely wanna be careful. You don't wanna put any steel brush and all those things or you can damage the sprayers pattern over here. So be careful. Let me put back the seals of each one of the injectors. Then let me open this up. We're using tiny little grease or a little lubricant to lubricate the seal properly. So now I can place each one of the fuel injectors right here and I'm going to connect each one of the injectors. Here we go. All right, the moment of truth. I have to check if my pressure is properly and I don't have any leaks. How do we do that? In idling test. Let me show you. A second. Function number two, idling test. Here we go. Want to make sure there's absolutely no leak. Perfect. This is actually to simulate like if the vehicle is in idling mode. Look. Clack, 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 clack. So let's wait until this test finish, which apparently is gonna take 10 minutes. Every time you're analyzing the vehicle's fuel injector, the one more important thing when using the analyzer is make sure that each one of the fuel injectors spraying at the very same rate and filling up the bottle at the very same level. There it is. So. So far, so good. Let me just move the table to see the level. There it is. They are all very similar. Almost two minutes to go, and in the idle test, check out the level of each one of the injectors. It is exactly the same with absolutely no difference. It's exactly what we're looking for. And once the idle test finished, we're gonna do medium, high-speed, accelerating, shifting, leak. Every single function in the machine, we're gonna perform it. That should be it. Now I'm going to the function number three, which is medium speed test. Here we go. There it is. But first I'm gonna empty it. There it is. Let me empty the tanks. Stop it again. There it is. Ready. <laughs> okay, step number four. High speed test. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
All right. Oh, no. I forgot. I cannot fall asleep. I have to be aware if my injectors are spraying equally. So here it is. Let me see. So far, the level is perfect. All right. Test number five. Accelerating test. I'm oh, sorry. Number five. In three, two, one. You can hear the vehicle accelerating. All right. That's exactly what's happening. So far, I know the injectors are perfect because look, the level is equal in each one of the tubes. Test number six, shifting speed. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, all right. I got it. Oh, that's running fast. That's it. Test number seven will be leak checking test. Here we go. Three, two, one. This one, what it does, it just applies pressure to see if by chance, do we have any droppings in one of the injectors? Super important because that's what actually with an injector stop open, you have to remember that you cannot compress liquid that damaged the engine for sure and damaged the piston ring. So you gotta be careful with this test, it's crucial. So we're just applying pressure without opening the injectors to see if we have by chance any dropping. Mm, so far so good. All right, perfect. Test number eight is idle and spray valve test in three, two, one. Perfect. Function number nine, medium speed spray valve test in three, two, one. Ready. Test number 10 is high speed spray valve test in three, two, one. Every high speed as it gets. The test number 11 is very, it, it's, it's telling me reverse flushing. What in the words is the reverse flushing? Wanna try? Mm, like a full open for a long time. This is what I call a heavy flush. Now the final function, which is non-disassembly cleaning, is the machine doing absolutely all this function, but automatically. In this case, we're gonna skip it because we already did it. So that's it, these injectors are fully clean. Let's take them out and let's do a visual inspection. All right, so we can say that the fuel injectors are fully clean. Test it and analyze it. Let me show you. You will see right here, the real condition of the injectors after applying a proper ultrasonic cleaning and analyzing. Nothing more to do, just install this injector and this vehicle should drive as good as new. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.